So welcome to episode, I don't know, I think it's six. Um, we got the ACM panels all on. I started insulating the inside. Uh, next step is, this is so plain looking. Um, I had planned on either vinyl wrapping it, was my first thought, but this is painted aluminum. Um, I'm just gonna scuff it with this DA that my buddy lent me. We're gonna scuff the paint so the the paint that I'm gonna put on it will adhere. So that's what we're doing now is uh, gonna sand and it's lots of fun. And it's like the coldest day of the year here in Northern Michigan. So forgive me, the furnace has to be on. Wear a respirator and put your earbuds in. So you got something to listen to. So we've got the camper partially painted. Um, there is still some streak marks I can see in it, so I'm gonna have to order some more tint and some Raptor and spray it. But while I'm waiting for that, I figure I can start installing the windows. These are Arctic turn windows. This is just temporary. I got one screw in, two screws in the inside, and they open and stop wherever you want them, and like that. So we got the one here on this driver side. So the next one we're gonna do is on the passenger side. So I figured I'd take you along and show you how we do that. So in the trailer, this is our window 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 opening. And I actually went really big on that. Why did I go so big? That's nuts. Holy crap. So my window opening is 40, 42, the 21 is the center. And I gotta put some backing in here for the shades to screw to. Um, so we're gonna pop a couple holes. So we know where the bottom's at. I'm actually gonna bring this down a little bit more. Kind of marked. When I did this on my when I installed windows in the van I had, I made sure to cut on the inside of the line because you can always go bigger. You can never go smaller. So 
So the window opening's a little big on each side. We need to put some wood at least just an inch and a half away from the opening so that the blinds have something to screw to. The rest will be insulation. So I cut some two by fours, one inch wide, ripped them down. Gonna use some Sikaflex. Not a lot. This stuff's the bomb, it works really good. Just to adhere it. So now, eventually the walls will, the inside wall coverings will keep it. in place. These are cheap Home Depot clamps, and let me tell you, they're cheap. So the clamps don't work. So, put a ton of masking tape on it. Just to hold it while I put a screw in. I'm not gonna put them all in. That should hold it while I go inside and put the clamp ring on. Sikaflex is not dry yet, which is good. So on these, the top is, this is where the window shade thingy fits on. So very carefully slide that in. first. Got windows. Probably shouldn't be putting this on, but I kind of want to see what it looks like. And I can tape it off after I, when I get my new laptop gun. short here which is all right trim is going to cover it 
Move all the way up here. And then like that. Still waiting for some 135 degree angle here. Nice. I like that. Well, that's as far as we're gonna go today. It's Sunday evening, almost time for the Super Bowl, not that I care. So next time, I don't know what we're working on. We gotta mount the fenders, we got to set the toe and the camber on the tire wheels yet, and the suspension, we gotta do the suspension, crossbar, cross member. I'm trying to get the exterior done before I go to the inside. I really like that, it looks good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. More to come. Like the video, dislike the video, whatever you want to do. Um, I really appreciate all the new subscribers. I really like getting comments. Tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right. It's my first tier job, but not my first camper that I've built. But it's coming along good. Again, thanks for watching.